Okay, do you want to know a secret about this? I kind of just needed a very blatant example of how to use the landscape to inspire your builds. I just put some blocks around an iceberg. This isn't anything. Hello, hello, hello! Soul here, and welcome to my very first build challenge. I'm gonna start doing some build challenges on here because I just think it would be a lot of fun. I'm making most of these up, but if you have any suggestions for a build challenge that I should do, drop it in the comments. I'd love to hear it and try it. This build challenge that I'm doing is inspired by a Sims build challenge that I have seen the lovely little Simsy do. If you like building in the Sims, which if you're you're watching this, I assume you maybe do. If you somehow don't know her already, go check her out. Anyway, the build challenge today is to build with only items that I hate using. Now I'm going to extend that a little bit to items that I just simply never use because you know, hate's a strong word. Oh, Okay, there are some blocks that I do hate. I need some variety to work with here. Just, you gotta give it to me. I've pulled a small selection of what we're gonna be working with today. Of course, I'll be using more than this. And I'm gonna be allowed to use simple items like lighting. However, I do have to use my least favorite kind of lighting. Oh no, should I not be allowed to use lanterns? We'll talk about it later once we see how I'm doing. But as you can see here, I have a selection collection of blocks. Now don't get me wrong, I do love the warped wood in theory, I just never use it. So I threw that in there, mostly because I needed something to complement this. I love bamboo in real life, I love bamboo, but the yellow of this texture, I see, I can't. Like in theory, that's what it would look like in Minecraft. I don't know why I hate it so much. I just don't think bright yellow is really just not my vibe. So we're gonna be working with uh, yellow and the warped wood, which has like a teal to it. So I'm allowing myself to use the cyan wool. And these blocks are just with the Mizuno 16 craft texture pack. Uh, check that out in the description if you want to give it a try. So this bed isn't normally like this in Minecraft, but I just... I hate the camo bed. Camo has never really like hit an ironic place for me. I live in the Midwest. And these colors of candles I'm going to allow myself to use because I never use them. To be fair, this is also something I would never build, but as we saw earlier, it's fake, oops. So um, this doesn't count. I have to build an actual house today with this stuff. Now, I don't know if I should build it in my least favorite biome as well. I think that would be fitting. This is kind of my least favorite biome. So the other thing is, should I build my least favorite style of house to build, which is a modern house? I did build a modern house and I decorated it in a video on this channel very recently. Maybe I should, maybe I should do a smaller modern house. Just put myself through that again. This was mainly meant to challenge me and torture me and it will, don't worry. But um, I'm already kind of seeing the vision here. Okay. Here's what we're gonna do. I'm thinking modern house with that color scheme in front of this little frozen pond with a, now brace yourself, with a diagonal bridge. All right, let's, let's go, I guess. Let's, tr let's try it. Uh. I don't have a plan. Wait, why do I like it? If you don't like this thing, you are not in luck. 
because I'm about to become insufferable with diagonal bridges. Are you kidding me? Wow! I think as long as I use the brightly colored candles, I should be allowed to use the other lighting options as well. I might add more to the bridge later, but for now, I need to work on this house. Whew. Okay. Let me load these puppies out. What do I use the concrete powder for? Here's the problem about this angle. The sun's never hitting the house directly. Like the front of it. Whatever. That'll be a part of it too. A part of my punishment. For what? I don't know. I just assume I've done something. If you're watching this and you're like, hey, I love those blocks and I love them together, or hey, I love modern houses, or hey, I love that landscape, I respect it, go for it, love it. That's your personal preference, it's just not mine. And I'm the one building, and I'm the one that needs the challenge. So, I'm not making fun of you, I just... I'm making fun of my ability to b build with the- Look at this! Look at this! Look at this! Are you kidding me? This is a disaster. Who turned their pineapple into this dumb house? Me! I did it! Should I use the creeper? I think I should have to use the creeper. So with any functional block, like a crafting table or a trap door, since the select button is the same as the place button, you can't place a block on it just by hitting select. What you do is you crouch and then place the item and it will not activate the block. Fun little tip that took me a while to figure out, but then I accidentally figured it out and it's changed my life.
Okay, so listen. I made it nighttime to represent how it is in real life right now. With full transparency, I recorded the first part of this video toward the beginning of my day, and now it is 10.23 p.m. So I've now had a full day. <laughs> and so that, that means I'm gonna have a lot less patience in trying to make this thing look nice. This might just become a clown house. I am labeling my recording files Hate House. This is Hate House, a house for clowns. Anyway, time to decorate this monstrosity. Honestly, the inside could be worse. The inside could be a lot, lot harder to work with. Let's just start there. Is there a bamboo sign? Yeah, ooh. I actually really like the bamboo sign. Do you know what I never use, but I really should? I think never used blocks count for this. I have a feeling I'm gonna like the trap door. Yeah, I do, I do really like the trap door. I never really use ender chests. Once again, these are cool. I just don't really use them. I don't know what to do paintings wise. I use all the paintings. I'll try to do the paintings I usually don't do. Oh, the camo. Okay, I'm done in here. Goodbye. While we're in bedroom mode, in other texture packs, I would definitely use the green bed, but this one, I never really do. Do I need to make a rule that I'm not allowed to make any standing shrubbery like I do a million times in every build? Like, I feel like that should be part of the challenge because I really have the urge to put a large potted plant right here. Hey, viewer, I really hope this isn't the first video of mine you're watching. I'm at least a little better than this. Up here? Yeah, this person's super into maps. To anyone who has seen other videos of mine and is saying, hey, actually, you use the cartography table a lot. I say to you, three at a time. Something else I never use. A mangrove propagule. Nice. I feel like I should be allowed to put one, okay? I think one. I don't think I can get away with it. I even use this. <laughs> Maybe. Desperate for a house plant in this challenge. Never saw that coming, huh, me? The person who issued myself this challenge. Do you know what I never do in builds? Have blank walls. Should that be a part of it? I just, I feel like I need something up here. No, I can't. That's part of the challenge. I am a maximalist at heart. I forgot I have to use the candles. Okay, that is the upstairs done, at least for now. That's as much as I can handle. Wait, that's as much as I can handle. Um, Sol, are you okay? Did you just put the entrance to someone's bedroom right smack dab deep in the middle of the kitchen? Yes, I did. And I've decided that is okay. We're really going off the rails now. We're really getting wild. Who cares? Candles. I never really use the shulker boxes much. And I should, this texture pack makes them pretty interesting. Like look, that's exciting. Little storage boxes, a little suitcase or something. Oh, do you know what I was gonna do? Oh no, I'm not gonna like it. Which means it's probably what I need to do for this challenge. Honestly, I really don't hate it. I think it fits with the rest of the house. Ooh, 
fancy display. What fancy things will be in there? It's my birthday! Here's the cake for the birthday. I'm getting sleepy, y'all. Wow, so cool. And then to top it all off, weird blocky flooring is part of it, okay? Okay, last things last, I'm gonna do some landscaping with stuff I never use, just a tiny bit, and then I'll be done, because I am tired. In general, and of this. Okay, that's it. I've decided I'm done. Here is the hate house. Oh my god, I don't like it. I don't like it. Here's the thing, if you don't like it, don't worry. I'm right there with ya. This is where Spongebob goes after he dies, and it's not the good place. You take a beautiful walk over this bridge. Let's go inside, shall we? Ooh, ah. Here's the thing, I don't like it. I'm glad I kept it small. Oh, I meant to put something on this ledge. Listen, in a modern house, I'm told I tend to over-decorate, so I tried to decorate a lot less this time. Like, this is truly monumental for me, how little stuff I put in this room right here. And this one, honestly. Like, this wall being blank? Unheard of for me. Unheard of. At least Spongebob gets that. The gorgeous view. Okay, I need to get out of this place. I'm done. <laughs> I quit. I hate it, I hate it, I hate it, I hate it! If you somehow enjoyed this video and this build, please go ahead, drop me a like and a subscribe. I really appreciate it. I'm brand new. I will have tons more build challenges coming at ya. I've got a let's play in the work. I've got some other stuff going on. Thank you so much for watching me confront my nightmares, and I will see you in the next video. Bye!